I thought it was a fantastic idea to go and see this ancient culture that maybe invented skiing. The places where they still ski this way is sort of far out beyond prepared terrain. Here they, they still make the skis the exact same ways they must have done it thousands and thousands of years ago. One guy will go out in the woods, cut down with an axe a uh, good spruce tree, he'll uh, haul it back to the village where he'll use a really simple planer to sort of shape it into two thin boards that can be used as the base for skiing. Uh, after you bend the tips, the skis have to cure. And they attach with nails horse skin underneath because the direction of the horse hair gives them traction for traveling uphill and skis smoothly and fast downhill. When you're looking for villages where people are skiing, you have to kind of look for where are their skiing tracks coming down the mountainsides. Another difference from the Altai skis to what we're used to is they use only one pole. They sort of lean back and use the pole as almost like a rudder. They have a need to constantly go up and down and shift between upwards and downwards and sideways and through brush and trees. Out on the open ground and, and you know, it's all about chasing animals. And, and going where you can't plan. I was always trying to just stay ahead of the curve somehow to do photography. Try to get position, try to get past them, try to get to good angles. We found that we had quite a hard time keeping up with them. That's the fifth time. I just had to try to keep up. For me it was like a travel back in time to what might have been the origin of skiing. The, the whole tradition of skiing is very much, you could say, on its uh, last legs. The young generations are less and less involved with these ancient ways. <laughs> 